Hello friends, in this video we are going to look into can we use my years in order by function. Let's get to Power BI. Here in Power BI we have a simple sum sales by color. Let's say if we want to find out the top three selling colors. Until now I have done videos on offset function, window function. Do check out those video. I will share the link in, in the description of this video. And in those videos, we use column name in the order by function. The requirement here is that if we want the top three products based on the sum sales, what is the best way to do that? Of course, we can achieve this by using the top end function as well. But we are also going to look into can we achieve the same using these new window function? Let's add a measure and call it top three selling colors. And what we need to do is, of course, when if we need a top three, we cannot use offset. We cannot use index function. Actually, index function, I'm doing a video on index function uh, in a few days. Do check out that video. But we only need to use the window function and the reason behind that is if we need top three we need a range like start from and to and the window function allows us to define the range so that's why we were using the window function some sales and we will use window function now if you look in the window function of course it's a from and to and let's say if i go my from is my first position and my um, I want two top three products I third which is relevant and then I can say summarize why I'm using summarize uh, it is in the first video do check out that video uh, offset how to handle the blank values that's why we're using summarize here summarize what i'm going to do here is our fact table all selected sales and then we are grouping it by color the next one is order by we're not using partition by because it's we're just looking at the color level order by sum sales which is our measure so basically what I'm saying here is order by some sales and then give me uh, top three uh, products based on the line I'm at relevant is always uh, based on the current position absolute is always the first one actually it should be um, relevant as well <coughs> So let's see what happens here. Uh, since the measure is already there, let's see V2, V1. Now here is the problem. The first problem is order by column, some sales could not be found in window relation parameter. So basically any column you are using, first of all, you cannot use measure in order by. And second, whatever the column you're using in order by has to be included in the table if you have if you are again table is a optional parameter if we are giving the table here then that the column which we're using in order by should exist in this one so let's see if i remove this i see i don't want to give it because this is optional can i still do the order by some sales let's see what the error is now here you go, it still says column sum sales in table product cannot be found. Basically what it is looking for, it is looking for the sum sales as a column, which does not exist because this is a measure. So what is the solution? I want the top three products or colors based on the sales, not based on the position of the colors. Alphabetically, they could be in different orders. So top three, in this case, like if we look at our data, if we sort it by sum sales, our top three products are black, red, and silver. So we want what are the top three products, colors in this case, and how much is the total sale of these colors. 
So what is the solution if we cannot use the measure? So what we can do here is we can add column to our summarize table. So add column and give a column name that's called sales. And that would be some sales. So since we have this column added now, some sales is added as a column in our table. Can now we use some sales or this new name we gave it uh, in our table? Can we use sales here? Let's see. So the measure did not give us any error because we are not getting that yellow error. But when I'm trying to visualize the measure, it gives me the error. And let's see what the error is. Now here it is calculation error in measure. Basically what it's saying is order by cannot be used with the add column or summarize function. So it means we cannot use measure based on the error message in our um, order by function. This is not completely true. If I'm using the relevant position, then I cannot use the calculated column or a measure in my order by. But if I use an absolute position, so what does this mean is absolute means first, second, third based on the order by. So in this case, we will sort our sales by descending. It means the highest sales will be on the top. And once the highest sales is on the top, so absolute value will be the first topmost value and the second will be the second topmost value and third will be the third topmost value. So that will give us the top three values. So let's see if this works. Boom. There you go. Uh, decimal places to zero. So we have top three sales. So if we add this up, 9 plus 7, 16, 16 plus plus 5, 21 million. So that's 22 million approximately. So that's what we're getting. So it means if we use absolute as in a position, then we can use measures in our order by function. Now, this doesn't solve the full problem. Let's say the business question is give us the sales for top three products and what is the share of those top three uh, in this case colors are so this is giving me 22 million for each and every row that's not what I, what I want I want it should only show the black value 9 million red value 7 million silver value 5 million and then the 22 million dollar as the total and then the whatever the 22 million dollar share is divided by 30 million that means that's a share of top three products or top three colors what we need to do is we need to wrap our window functions in the keep filters. There is a video on keep filters. What does this function do? I will share the link of that video as well. Do check that out. Basically what it is going to do is we will be passing row as in a filter context. And that's what we will uh, we want to do here. So now once we use this measure, here you go. Now we are getting the sales for each particular top three colors, black 9 million, red 7 million, silver 5 million, and rest is all blank because those are not part of the top three products. And then total is 22 million, that's perfectly fine. Now I can remove some sales here because I don't need it. That was just for the demo. So now we have the top three selling colors and whatever the sum of those top three sales are, colors are, and one important point that we can use measures in the order by function if we add that as a column in our in our in our table now if we want to further see the share of these um, colors what we need to do is we need to add another uh, maybe measure here let's add one now what we can say is color share percentage so that will be simple divide our top three selling colors v1 which we just created and then the total sale our total sales will be calculate some sales and all select 
on colors. Let's see. And we will change this measure to as a percentage. Top three colors are total sale for top three colors is $22 million. And the share of top three products is 73.83 against all total sales of all the colors. Now this is very, very easy to create. Previously, if we have to do it, we, we can use top and function and make it happen. But with these windows, new window functions, this becomes really, really easy. We can do one more thing with this. We can make it more dynamic. We can have a what if parameter and then use that what if parameter instead of three, we can use that parameter and then it can be top X, right? If we, if we select the user select five products, top five, then this will be one top five products and user select two, then it will be top two products and everything will work accordingly. Let me know what you guys think about this video. These new window DAX functions are really, really powerful and easy to uh, write complex um, DAX measures. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I will be uh, bringing a lot more uh, videos on these new window DAX functions. Do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.